One of two men sentenced to life behind bars for the deaths of four people in a horrific crash back in 2009 is out of prison and back in Philadelphia. And family of one of those victims, a seven-year-old girl, is devastated and wants answers. Our Kelly Rule live in Northeast Philadelphia with this story. Kelly, you spoke with that family. Jason, I did, and they certainly are devastated. We can tell you that Ivan Rodriguez was released on state parole yesterday, according to a letter from the city, and he will remain on probation until May 2031. The DA's office argues his punishment was too harsh because he was not the one driving the vehicle that killed those four people. So what gives to right to be out free? today as he is. Sandra Elias says as long as she lives at this North 3rd Street home, there will be a memorial for her seven-year-old granddaughter, Gina Marie Rosario, and the three other North 3rd Angels killed in June 2009, an indescribable pain that's only deeper today. We will never see Gina Marie Rosario again in life. So why should he be able to see the streets when my granddaughter never seen her birthdays, her graduations, her proms? Elias and her daughter say they were devastated to get a letter from the city saying one of the two men sentenced to life behind bars for their deaths. Ivan Rodriguez, as of Wednesday, is out of prison and back in Philadelphia. Police say Dante Craddock and Rodriguez, 21 and 23 at the time, fled the scene of a robbery. Police say Craddock plowed into Rosario, 22-year-old Latoya Smith, and her one-year-old daughter Remedy, and a six-year-old Aliyah Griffin killing them. Rodriguez on the stolen motorcycle was not at the scene of the crash, according to police. Nobody should die the way them two, all four of them people died. According to the Philadelphia District Attorney's Office, they agreed to a resentencing because they felt Rodriguez was sentenced for a crime he did not commit. He was not at the scene or driving the car. A judge agreed, accepted a guilty plea for the robbery and a sentence of 10 to 20 years plus probation. And with time served, he became eligible for parole. Aaliyah says either way, her granddaughter is still gone. That was like somebody taking my heart and taking it out of me. Now, Craddock, the man who police say was driving that car that hit all four victims, killing them, remains behind bars. He's serving a life sentence. Don. All right, Kelly, thank you.